Hello, um, we're back at the messy art table. Yes, goody. Um, today we're going to do mandalas. What's a mandala? It's the Sanskrit name for circles and it's been used forever in um, various uh, cultures. But essentially, um, it's, we're just going to use that as a way of, um, some people use it in meditation, um, but it's actually just a nice exercise to do. So I've grabbed a dinner plate from the dining room and I've got some paper um, and I'm going to actually uh, draw around this. You can use lots of things uh, and of course now I've forgotten, I've lost my pencil. Oh, here's my pencil. Um, you could have a smaller one. I'm just going to have a nice big one, but you can use smaller plates, you can use saucers, cups, mugs, whatever basically to draw around. Um, and the whole idea about this is just using the circle as um, a starting point. So just to make a design, you could actually just do a doodle. You could actually close your eyes and think, oh gosh, am I going to go outside the circle? Am I going to go in? You could use your non-dominant hand. That's a bit scary because then you can't get it right or wrong. You can make a pattern like that and then colour in all the different colours. You can... Do, there's so many things you can do with circles. You could say, stay inside the circle line and then go outside. You can even buy a book all about mandalas and colouring in. So mandalas have been used for centuries, as I say, and these are all beautiful patterns. So circles, looking for circles. So another idea with mandalas, um, which I thought you might have still in your cupboard and you don't have to go out, is actually a candle um, most people should have a candle in their house at the moment and actually use the candle to go around the plate to make the circle and this way and then this is like a bit magic because then you can draw with the candle and maybe and you can't see it so again you can't get it right or wrong I'm just going roundy roundy and then uh, hopefully in your cupboard you've got some food colorings for baking um, so you don't always need to have posh paints and you know what not and I've actually used some specimen pots you recognize these and just put a bit of water in and actually then it becomes like magic I'm just going to use just a little bit of this blue and then you can see where all the candle marks were so that can be sort of fun to do and I've got a little bit of purpley there and a little bit of red Anyway, so that can be a fun thing. It doesn't have to be a mandala even. Actually, I did one. Here's one I prepared earlier and I used lots of different colours and that dried. So that can be sort of fun and a cheap and easy way um, to do some painting. Food colourings can stain your hands a little bit but it comes out after a couple of washes. Um, one thing I do do um, with food colourings on canvases is actually this is one where you can recognize sort of all different colors and then if you've got any um, crystal salt if you just sprinkle it on while it's still wet and then it dries and you get all these little islands and it's really quite fun and there's you, you can't get it right or wrong it just does it the salt soaks up the water and that's sort of a nice fun thing to do um, another um, thing you could also do paper towels we've all got paper towels in our cupboards and so I actually drew, and this is where it becomes magic, because I'm actually going to pour some water into this tray. And then you'll just see the circles. So I've just drawn all these lines. Then, and then you get all the colours coming through. How much fun is that? I'm, well, I'm enjoying it. And then it all bleeds out. So that's quite fun for little ones. One more thing on the circle theme. I've been into Owen's kitchen again and I've stolen all of these spices because I thought another idea with this was a sensory way of I've got some mustard powder, I've got some black pepper and just making patterns with the spices. First I used a spoon but it was a bit clunky so I made myself a very posh um, little funnel um, and it smells lovely just don't want this paprika in there so don't touch your eyes after that um, but yeah so I've got what have I got in there ground mustard mild, anyway whatever you've got in the cupboard I think is probably good enough um, but it's just a nice just another idea 
um, of things to do with circles. All right, thank you.